Hi guys, the daily commute, you've done it, you've bought yourself a motorbike, you can't wait to be riding it into the office to show off your new steel horse to everyone, it'll be great, there's no doubt about it, but how much thought have you actually put into what it actually takes to ride a bike to work daily? Today I'm going to be talking uh, about a few things that you've got to consider if you're going to commit to riding to work daily. Um, there's some kind of doom and gloom points and there's some kind of pros to why it is awesome at the same time. So let's jump straight in there. The weather here in the UK, the weather is unpredictable. It can be crappy, and miserable and cold, um, but at the same time it can be quite warm as well uh, for like two months that we get. Um, so what you need to be thinking about is um, whether you'll need to be looking at some waterproof kit um, so jackets, um, trousers, gloves or a waterproof bag um, the other thing you can look at if you don't want to spend too much on full winter gear is if there is a place at your work where you can keep some spare clothes um, just because I'm talking from experience here, turning up to work and doing the first four hours of your shift in absolutely soaked clothes is horrible and isn't worth it. So yeah, either invest in some decent all-weather gear or find a place to keep some dry stuff at work. And it goes both ways as well because in the summer when you're all kitted up, it's going to be hot and sweaty. So if your place has got of work has a shower or something that'd be great um so they're just a couple of the things you want to think about is kind of not just getting to work but actually what happens when you get there um because it will impact on your day um along similar kind of lines bike gear as always you need to wear it it goes without saying um but remember you're heading into the office you're not setting off on the long way down um, so you don't want to be packing loads and loads of kit with you that you don't really need um, because it does take up space if you're going to be storing it at work so make sure you've got a place that you can put it um, if not a top box or maybe a set of panniers might be needed um, and also you want to think about um, kind of what kit you are going to be using because um, the winter stuff can be a bit bulkier so um, it all depend on your personal preference and what works for you uh, but winter stuff can be a bit bulkier so I tend to use more kind of summer stuff because it does pat down a bit neater and out the way um, and then the main point of if you are going to commit to riding your bike into work every day you need the bike that is right for you and this does really require some serious thought um, it depends on how long your commute is um, how far you're going to be going um, what kind of riding you're going to be doing if you take motorways or country roads or just around and about town um, different bikes are going to be good at different jobs but the one thing you don't want to do is get a bike that by the time you get to work your back feels like it's broken in three places because it's so uncomfortable um, it works for some people um, having a sports bike getting to work but that might be because they've only got a short commute it's all about what works for you but please do put some thought into it if you're going to be doing a long journey you might want to get a bike that's a bit more right right bit more comfortable that you can actually put the miles in um, so yeah please give it some thought because it will be your daily um, you're going to have to want to get on this thing every day um, and another thing that people don't tend to mention a huge amount is the cost of bikes on paper bikes are cheap and they are for the most part you got the upfront cost they're cheaper than cars um, petrol's a lot cheaper because they're smaller they don't take a huge amount of petrol um, tax and insurance that's cheaper as well um, but what does tend to have a get forgotten is the maintenance costs it can mount up um, say if you need a new chain or the service is coming up or something breaks down um, 
you, you need to have it in the back of your mind that you might need to spend a bit here um, because like I said it mounts up the maintenance costs um, and especially if your bike is your daily and your only way to work for some people um, it's definitely worth thinking about making sure that you're maintaining it yourself properly and when you do need to um, you're you're ready for the costs that might come up um, time a uh, bit more on to the positive bikes are great time savers for skipping traffic um, again it's one of those things if you feel confident not every biker does it but for me it is one of the many joys of owning a bike is being able to skip through a traffic jam turn up to work when you're meant to instead of when you get to work um, you're a bit agitated already because you've had to sit in traffic um, and it's great when your colleagues are turning up all pissed off and you've skipped past them on the motorway um, and another great point about riding every day is skills daily riding is going to keep your skills fresh it's going to keep you alert reactive um, and especially kind of around the normal kind of peak commuting times what they call rush hour um, it is a di different world out there on the roads at these kind of times um, so riding in these environments is going to keep you fresh um, which is really handy I'm not saying if you don't ride for a while you're going to be a bad rider or such but everyday riding is going to keep you alert and active um, and then for me one of the best things about owning a motorbike and riding it to work is mood leaving work on two wheels is the best um, no matter how shitty your day has been you get on the bike, you go through the gates, you open up the throttle, and then you have a massive smile on your face. It it really is a stress reliever. It makes a big difference to the day for me. Um, yeah, as soon as I'm on my bike, I, I, I forget what's happened during the day, and it could have been a pretty bad day. So it does make a difference, guys. Um, so it's just a couple of things to think about, really. Small things that might not seem that important, but that but are important just give them a quick think like always guys if you think i've chatted a load of crap let me know if you think i've chatted some good let me know thanks for watching